Okay, so in problem number four, they say that when Hope kicks a soccer ball, it travels a horizontal distance of 64 feet and at its highest point reaches 30 feet. Write an equation to model the path of the ball. Okay, well first, let's think about this here. We got Hope, who's right here. She kicks a soccer ball, and the soccer ball does this right here. And we know that from here all the way over to here, is a grand total of a horizontal 64 feet. And at the highest spot from here to the ground is 30 feet. Well, I know that this means that the highest spot for the ball would be the vertex of a parabola, and that this is gonna be perfectly cut in half. So if it's 64 all the way across, then that means that from here to where the ball lands, this little part right here is going to be 32 feet. Well, this is where I need to be creative. I'm going to put my origin right here. So this black dot, I'm going to call that 0, 0. This black dot being 0, 0 means that now this green dot up here is 0, 30, and then this dot right here where the ball landed is going to be 32, 0. And I need to come up with the equation that makes this entire path that the ball travels. I'm going to color that in um, blue. I need to come up with this blue parabola's equation. Okay, well, the first thing I know. All parabolas start off as y equals a and then x minus h squared plus k. Well, because the vertex is right here at 0, 0, notice that h is right here. The vertex is at 0, 30. And that means that that's k, because that's how much it goes up. Well, if h is 0, that means I don't really need to worry about saying minus 0 or plus 0. So this whole equation is going to turn into y equals a x squared and then plus 30. Well, the question is, how do I figure out what a is? Mm. OK, well, I know a is going to be negative. I know a is negative because the entire blue parabola is upside down. It opens downward. But even if I didn't know that, watch what would happen here. I'm going to take this 32 right here and this 0 right here. So basically, I'm going to take these two coordinate points right here, and I'm going to plug them in to x and y. So if I do that, that means that 0 is going to be equal to a times 32 squared plus 30. Now, if I take a look here, I can say 32 squared on my calculator is 1024. So this means that this turns into 0 is equal to a times 1024 plus 30. Now, my goal, I want to get A right here by itself, whatever that A is. Well, that's a solving problem. That means we deal with subtraction first, and that's going to give me that negative 30 is equal to A times 1024. But wait a minute, I want A by itself. So that means I'm going to divide both sides by 1024. OK, well, if I take a look at that on my calculator here, uh, let's see here, 30 divided by, and I don't know why I keep doing that. Let me try that again. 30 
divided by 1024. It is late. I am trying to get through this so that I can head to bed. Um, that is 15 over 512. So A is going to be 15 over 512. Okay, that means that this A can now get sent back up to here, which will give me the entire problem. Oh, wait, negative, because negative 30 over a positive number, so negative 15 over 512. So this entire equation is going to end up being y equals, we just said that a was negative 15 over 512 x squared plus 30. And that is the equation of the parabola that we needed.